when you hear that version of the Star Fox theme, you know what's going on. Um, okay, so the last... I've, like, actually restarted this, like, a couple times, so... Because... I think my wheel was, um... Acting up and sending my character off to the left side. I don't quite know why. I don't remember exactly... I think I remember where I was. It's been about a week-ish. I just been playing a lot of Super Smash Bros. Working on some NRO3 stuff. Uh, so... Um... Might be a bit of a slow start. I uh, just want to make sure I got the volume balance okay. If... Oh. Yeah, so I looked in the... Uh, I was going to look in the stream chat, and I was going to say, well, someone in the stream chat could maybe help, but I forget. No one watches this live. <laughs> That's okay. So... Oh yeah, okay, so we're going to uh, Harmonies to save it from the Highwaymen, which are Ludok and Phantom Ball, two schmucks that we ran into at the end of Part 2. Harmony, I actually, it did click on me. Harmony is in the first game. So that is, um, that actually is, uh, can, that actually is kind of a callback from, to all the way to the first game, which is, uh, That's kind of a nice touch. Uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna... I have a... I know for a fact you recruit her. And the reason I say I know for a fact is... Is, um... Well, she's got a picture! <laughs> well, we got two now. Uh, does volume balance look good? Or sound good, rather. Thank you for staying with us. Okay. Streaming Minecraft. That's fake news. I gotta... Fucking Twitch needs to update that shit a little bit better. Yeah, so Twitch right now says I'm streaming Minecraft, which is fake news. So I'm gonna just peek on over real quick. Alright, thank you, Siege. In fact, we are not streaming Minecraft, but maybe I could sucker a few more people into watching this <laughs> disaster. Ah, I shouldn't say disaster. This game's actually so far not bad. As the fact that I did a, um... It was almost two hours, I think, for part one. Which is longer than, like, any of the LS2 ones. Alright. This must be Harmony's music school. At least the children seem to be safe. Let's go inside and save Harmony. Piano. I oh, still got a fire burning. Actually, this interior mapping is pretty, pretty well done. Oh, yep, there's Phantom Ball. What the fuck? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we thought you'd follow us here. You can't just help but save damsels in distress, can you? Let me go, you swines! Do as she says, or we'll destroy you! Come on, Phantom Ball. I do like how they didn't change the enemy graphics for these two guys. I kinda get why, but... Uh, multi, multi, yes. Um... I think one of these guys is... I think they're both, like, either weak or resistant to the same thing. Uh, Taisu, just go for Phantom Ball, because these are where all the magic comes from. Um... Um... Yeah, this is the Dragon God theme from Chrono Cross, but, um... And that's still a weird choice of music, but I get why he chose this particular version of it. Because there is another one that was floating around at the same time. Which maybe I'll play on to as a 
I'll play it on stream as a comparison, and then I, then you'll see why he picked this one. But uh, it's still a weird choice to pick the Dragon God theme. Like it's not bad. It's just weird. <laughs> Um, now we're looking good. Kazuki. Now uh, one of them is into a different element. Okay. I should have switched the or uh, the orbs from Kima and Lisa, I think. Oh well. There we go. I wanted to take fan. Oh, okay, well they both die about the same time. Good thing I had all those using all those multis. Nine, not again. Come, one final retreat. Understood. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I'm I'm ever so grateful. But I'm afraid it's not over. The highwaymen have retreated to their hideout on Mount Quare. Quare. Queer. Mount Queer. Quare. I'm... How the fuck do you not like... <laughs> Where the, the highwaymen retreat to Mount Queer. Uh. Gay joke, gay joke, gay joke, gay joke, and gay joke. Now that we've gotten all those out of the way, let's continue. They have captured a young student from here called Tiki Tiki Timbo uh, Nosa. How do you not remember? Is it like one of those kids with a really long name? <laughs> Which I would I would shorten that too to like, um, Remy, Remy, Remy's from the last game. Uh, oh, okay. Um, Remy. No. Uh, well, he has a rather long name. Please save Tiki. All right, I'm good with Tiki. Thank you. Mount Quare is just west of here. I'm gonna. Please take. Okay. Yeesh! I protect my brother the best. <laughs> That's the scary men have gone. And Miss Harmony is okay. Wicked Miss Harmony is all right, but poor Tiki is gone. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I think Cockroach should have been okay. Sea Roach, I don't, that, that name is not too long. <laughs> I mean, if you saw Fanon Ball and Ludox names there. And you know that they're not, uh... Probably shouldn't go to the autos uh, auto battle as often, but um, I'm doing it anyway. Now that it seems in this game, since there actually is a difference between like different elements, is like what um, spells you get because water is clearly not worth shit. I mean, it's got healing, but like, <laughs> if you saw, I played the second one. Not worth shit. 
because I I'm gonna unequip that. Uh, yeah, we are switching these. Uh, okay. Actually, let's go here. Taisu's magic is ridiculous. He's getting one. As if he needed to be more like... More like OP than he is. Eh. Clearly Charles Roach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Ishnai Kirafox has auto-hosted me. Thank you, Danny. Um, uh, by the way, I just want to rec also recommend Ishnai Kirafox. I-S-H-N-A-I-C-I-A-R-F-O-X, in case you wanted to know how to spell that. I'm actually going to keep the Fire Orb on Kima. And the Bolt Orb on Kazuki. Kazuki's magic's terrible, but Kazuki just takes this to absorb so much damage that I'm find it hard to justify anything uh, anything else. <laughs> of course, the tree mammoth with the uh, Trent giving the what looks like giving the finger, even though not really. I'll probably regret not having anyone with the water or pretty soon. I'm not doing auto battle. I was trying to avoid doing auto battle just to avoid uh, burning through some so much uh, orb craft points. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna immediately go back on what I just said. <laughs> Because I just remembered then I had, I bought all those potatoes. And how are we doing? Potion wise, we're doing fine. If it gets to be an issue, I'll put the water work back on. And I'll put it on, uh, or I'll might as well just put it on Kazuki because the lightning orb doesn't have a uh, level 2 spell, looks like. The, this game seems like it's paced a lot quicker than the last one was, because not too many RPG Maker games that I know of went all the way to level 50, which is where RM2000 games, like, cap out. Like, that's built into it. Like, that's nothing, like, you can change. Like, they all cap out. Well, you can make it go lower for, for a character if you want, but you can't have them go higher than 50. I don't know why that was done when, uh, but that's the way it was. With RM2003, it was 99. And the, the only game that I know of that goes level 99 is the worst RPG ever, which I am unfortunately responsible for, and I will use, I will use the, I will phrase it as responsible for, for bringing that abomination into, uh, the ether. Because that game is bad, but in my defense... It is also intentionally bad. Please don't tell me it's a fucking heal point. Yes, it is. Fucking hell. I, I do this all the time. Ah! I'm used to some of these games being a little meaner to the player. These asshole. <laughs> Here they come. Help! Help! Got up, kid. Push <laughs> you on another clobber and... Oh! So these guys are just genuinely lovely people. You monsters! Let that poor child go! Snooty nobles, prepare to fight me! Oh, second duel scene. Wait, Kima's still in the Paragon Knight outfit. Don't be foolish. Yeah. I despise all nobles! I honestly find that position, that's the least an objectionable thing this guy has said or done this entire game. I would just want to point that out right here. Alright, so we're going to open by... I still don't know what Stance does. I am probably just haven't been paying attention, I'll be honest. <laughs> huh. 
<laughs> Hashtag not all nobles. <laughs> I'll hack you with my sword. You know, I gotta say, the, some of the animations on Ludok actually look pretty good. For what they are. I also like the choice of music here. It's from Xenogears, which I, a game that I have not actually played. Like, at all. Uh... I'm making all the wrong decisions at the moment. I'm the highwayman. I steal from the rich and give to the poor. That's it. Remember what I said about making all the wrong decisions? That's continuing. Now I'm gonna do a rage tag. He's gonna defend and that'll be the end. I'll show you how it's done. Nope, I made something. I made a right decision. Kinda. Alright, we have a lot of ground to make up, I think. You are skilled indeed. So... Stop wasting time! Oh, uh, that doesn't heal you like it did in the second one. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I think I just died. Ah! I'm about to die anyway. <laughs> Shut up, Ludok. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yes! <laughs> He wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where like 90% of my game overs and the and all of them are gonna come. I had that happened in the second one too. <laughs> Here they come. I'm gonna skip that. This is what we do. Don't try to change our ways. Don't be foolish. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see, so not all nobles are complete pansies. I wonder if there's something to like, like the quotes that they say, like, can tip you off as to whether or not they're coming. Because I just, that was like a sixth sense thing. I was like, ah, well, he said I'm prepared to suffer. Rage attack. I wonder if there's something in there where, like, built into it. I should check that. Of course, I'm now going to forget to do that. And if, um, the guy who created this ever finds this video, he can, uh, uh, leave a comment about how much of an idiot I am. And it will probably be uh, warranted. <coughs> Th 
Thanks to you nobles, I get lots of money. Wait, hang on a minute. <laughs> I hope I hope anyone's seeing like the problem with his own logic here. need to catch him off guard. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> uh, damn it. For a second I thought nothing can go wrong here, and then it did. I don't think it matters if, if like, uh, uh, you hit zero, or, like, as soon as you hit zero, you die no matter if he dies with you. It's like, even if, like, I killed him by, like, more than he killed me by, or whatever. So, yeah, um... It was like, so uh, I was playing around with like Super Smash Brothers uh, me fighters and the like, and there's like a when you go to generate a me shit, um, generate a me fighter. There's um, it's like a suggested like you can say, oh yeah, pick from like suggested looks or whatever. And I was running out of ideas to make a terrifying me to go you know torment Joe with, and um, um, one of them, like, was, like, kind of had, like, a goatee, kind of like fucking Fannin Ball, so there is actually a Fannin Ball me fighter. And, and the only reason why I even did that was because I just wanted another, I wanted some to fight against. Just for the computers to use. I, I do that quite a bit. Like, like, the Don like, I have one for Donald Trump. If you go on my YouTube channel, there's... Like Yoshi versus Trump or whatever uh, that I did for the last Smash Brothers or the Trump me that I made for that one. It didn't really look as much like Trump, but it was actually one of my favorites to fight against because not only am I not a fan of Donald Trump, like in general, but um, which is a huge understatement for anyone that knows me, uh, but just like it, it, that me just does not die and it's just really, really tough. Like the Trump me in uh, Smash Ultimate is not, not so much the case. But it's still, but it's still, you know, like it was my go-to. And I, yeah, I wanted others, like the Trump me, like I have one in a cat, like someone in a cat suit. I have, um, um, I have a guy, like, that, that has, like, completely randomly generated, like, completely, I just hit, like, the random thing for, um, like, whatever outfit he is going to have. I just called him Randy, stuff like that. I just wanted something for the computers, some me's for the computers to play as. Oh, hey, it's Cameron! Hey, Cameron, this guy's already killed me twice. This fucking... This guy. How you doing? Uh, fucking hell. Drank so much coffee today I got halfway to Bell and realized I forgot my car. Thought we're halfway to Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah. I would I honestly wish I could have one of those days. I've been like Jeb Bush the past past like couple days. And in this I am comically making all the wrong decisions. Like this gonna be the third time this guy has killed me. Oh, hey, I did something right. And I was talking about how I made a me fighter for one of the characters in this game. Yes! Do that again! Just keep using guard, you little bastard! <laughs> so I can fucking steal this one. Actually, wait. No, no, we're doing this. 
Yes, yes, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> Let me back into this one, that I will obviously get bullshit, but this is just rock, paper, scissors on. Okay, well, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Cameron, I think I would too, to be honest with you. Smoke weed every day. You know, those kind. Fuck. Ah! <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, checks for... Ah! I do not like the duels in this game. I kind of do, but at the same time, I kind of hate them. <laughs> and I, I think I'd like them more if, like, the doing guard, if both people do guard, then it heals, bo it heals both of them, like it was in the last one. But that is kind of a cheese. That's a bit of a cheese tactic. You know, as I started talking about Super Smash Brothers just a little while ago, I was actually beating this guy. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what that says about me. This guy also doesn't have the same shadow effect that it, I just realized that, that a Surf did in the first one. Am I seriously just gonna, like, beat this guy just by doing this? I kinda hope that's the case. That'd be kinda funny. Uh... Yeah, now I really do wonder if, it, if like, what this guy says, like, tips off what he's about to do. Because I just thought devastating blows. Okay, well, guard. I want to do that again. Yeah, I think it is. Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. Yeah, I think it does. <clears throat> yeah, I think it does. Ah, damn you. Not bad, I didn't expect you to be so good, nobleman. Hey, watch what you're saying to my boyfriend. Wow, I'm impressed. First time anyone has ever fought back. You guys must be really damn stupid. Damn you! Just give us back the child! Kima, we are wasting time. We have to, we have to do something to get that kid back. Ah, uh, there's Cobalt back there. You're right. These guys just never give up. What's so important about that child? Why do you need him? <laughs> we can make a lot of money out of this kid. <laughs> wow, these guys are pieces of shit. <laughs> Working in tourist and mines brings in quite a lot of cash these days, eh? He's right, but would they be so cruel as to make a child work in such bad conditions? <laughs> Fucking Cobalt! Just fucking... <laughs> I hope someone saw that. <laughs> you never know what these creeps. They'd send their own mothers to work in the mines. If it meant more money, let's bust them up for good. Sorry, but it's time for us to go. Fannyball, get the kid on your horse, let's go south. Sure thing. Ah, uh, where did he go? What? Damn it! You let him get away! You gotta catch the little scallywag. 
Giddy up! Hey, th this Jack's gonna get the kid back! Wait a minute, who actually took the child? It doesn't matter, we have to stop the highwaymen from capturing him again. I'm still a little mad that, like, every time I go to heal and stuff, there's a, there's a heal point right after that. You'd be surprised how many games it happens to me in. Come here, motherfucker. Get your hands off me! Um, let's, let's XP farm this motherfucker. Now this guy's weak to magic. Yeah, even an RPG Maker game, this theme is fucking rocking. Of course, I'm a little biased in that regard, because I actually own a copy, a physical copy of Grandia, and it's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite games. The original Grandia is really special to me. Okay! <laughs> I didn't really mean to use regular tech, that worked. Look, Fannyball is the one with the key to our hideout. Why don't you speak to him? Okay. I love it when you pull a switch and then, like, a bridge magically appears. <laughs> ah! Damn you! Yeah, just regular attacks in this guy. Okay, now he actually has defense. Oh, yikes, 344. Here's the key. Let me go! I don't really see what the point is now that that... Oh, that's a... Oh, that's if a... Yeah, because if you had a cornerman, it would be... But this is such a small space, that wouldn't have been that difficult. Yeah. I can see the reason in having all that there. Oh! Kobolds. Why do I have to keep pressing escape? That's f fucking pissing me off. Damn it! Give us our kid back, you thieves! Ah, uh, this guy isn't thinking through what he's saying. Okay, so we got a uh, kobold over there, and another one with like a row with Serlent's robe on from Treasure of the Rudras, and like a is that like an orange scarf that he's got on, or is that just really bad MS Paint? I think it's a scarf. Huh? Who are you calling thieves? You kidnapped poor Tiki in the first place! Hmm... Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, Ossel! I remember this guy. Yeah! He's actually one of the best characters in this game. <laughs> yes, I believe we met on the battlefield. Ossel? You're that kobold sorcerer, aren't you? Listen, we're wasting time. Those hounds need to be taught a lesson! Who should we fight with? Uh... Let's do this! I'm in the mood for a fight. 
Oh, that's just, they must use the same enemy data from the the same guys from early in the game because those two uh, those two guys went down fast. Oh shit! He actually, this guy actually does hit for a lot of damage though. So I'm gonna have to just do a quick heal here. There we go. Um, I kind of want to know if I should make Miis for all three of the, uh, lead characters of the Legion Saga games and use them to torment Joe with. Cameron, you think that's a good idea? I think it's a great idea. Ooh. Once again, you have shown me your might. This is not the end. We shall meet again. As kobolds. Um. Well, it's good to see everyone is safe at least. Mother, Ego, Harmony, Tiki, you two. Us! You're glad we're safe to our enemies! No. Situation has changed. Those kobolds are pushing their luck. Every day they reach further into Higanasu. Not only that, but Milambo has been completely destroyed by the titans and demons. Surth, Ossel, the titans, Balbata, they must all be stopped. We cannot let them destroy this world. Kima's right. We can't sit around and let them push us around like this. Yes, you're both right. We must put aside our differences for now and learn to cooperate, even with the two guys that were just n that were just now kidnapping children and selling them off to s possible slaves in mines somewhere. Uh, that's not weird. Also, this song playing, by the way, is from is uh, actually from the RPG Maker RTP and is my favorite song in the RTP by a mile. So much so that in one of my own games, I used this as the title theme. Which was kind of a no-no at the time. Like, you'd, like using RTP music was a no-no in general. I still did it. <laughs> Ta -da -da. Oh, this is actually sped up. The time for petty quarrels is gone. We must unite to protect this world. Once I followed Dancer faithfully, but if this is his goal, I want no part in it. Kima, I'm in. Who else? Naturally, I'll follow Kima wherever he goes. I... There are some questions I want answered. Maybe if I tag along, I will find out more about what I am searching for. Milamo has been destroyed. I have nowhere to go. I can't bear the thought of my sons wandering the world alone. I'm coming too. Mother. Kima, I'm eternally grateful for you saving me. However, I must return to the school. I simply can't leave it unattended at a time like this. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future. Thanks, Kima! I'll see you later, okay? He's playable. <laughs> Goodbye. Ludok, Fountain Ball, what about you two? What will you do? Don't be stupid. We'll never join forces with nobles. Yes, we will. Huh? 
Kima is right. This world must be protected at all costs. Can't allow those filthy beasts to destroy everything we own. Phantomball and I are in. Yeah, take this too. Ooh. Thanks. It's time to establish some sort of an army. Kima, let me be in charge of our strategies for now. We need somewhere to base ourselves and our troops. A fortified stronghold which can withstand enemy attacks. We might be sitting in it right now. Oh wait, that wasn't actually a line. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh no, what was that? It looked like it came from Tudor City. Let's go and check it out. Kima, go see what's happened in Tudor City. The doc said you can use the elevator to get down to the western side of the mountain. Come to speak to your mother if you want to change your party. We'll wait here. We'll wait here until the area is safe for us old folk. Uh, yeah, we're taking you. I'm gonna just take everyone's equipment off first. And then I'm actually gonna put Ludok and Fan involved both in the party. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Alright, now let's see what these two guys got. Oh, duh. By the way, this is the Efa. This is the Efa tree theme from FF9. That's a nice touch. I kind of like it. All right. Phantomball's got a water orb. His magic's 213 though. And he is the same level as Lisa, and... Well, his strength isn't all that good. His defense is actually kind of surprising. It's a little better than everyone else's, but... He doesn't have an orb equipped. That's probably got something to do with it. Or rather, he had a water orb equipped. That has something to do with it, rather. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Ludok and Phantomball. I'm um, just cause let's get someone different in the party for once. Nice sound effect. <laughs> Good use of it. I like how there's a road going to that, the side of the mountain. Alright, here we go. Alright, here's why this is such an effective music cue. Because I've already been here, and like, and I saw how many people were on the streets beforehand, This is really a this is a really effective music cue. If there's one thing this game is actually doing very well, it's some of the some of the music cues are really good and some of them are really weird. Like I'm not I wasn't fond of the the use of the Esper theme or Shallow's theme, but this is this this well more than makes up for it. Wait. Godspeed Orb? What's this? Cardico Quabra. Oh, there's, uh, Dolan. Dolan. Whatever. I, I, I When I was younger, I used to call him Dolan. I don't know why. I'm gonna call him Dolan. Because that's more than likely what it is. Uh, 
Ah, Kima, Kima, it's you. Dolan, what happened here? Damn them. Damn them all. Why didn't they stop those damn kobolds? What? The, the kobolds came. Parin, Ishin, they just let them into the city. The kobolds set up some mirrors and sort of and then and, and, and then fire fell from the sky into the mirrors. Everyone was evaporated. Ishin, oh no. How, how, how could he do that? We must do something. We must stop Perrin. Where are the kobolds now? I don't know. They seem to shoot up into the sky after they finished killing everyone. Dolan, can you fight? Yes. Listen to me. Perrin and Ijin are inside the Imperial Castle. They were followed by some monsters. If you're going after them, I'll go with you. I fear that the king may be dead already. Come, let's hurry. Okay, I'm gonna kinda regret some of the, uh... Ludoc or Fannonball? Yo, Cameron, you still there? If not, I kind of understand that. I don't think he is. I think he's dead. Alright, so I'm going to... I'm going to go with Ludoc. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, so that I do that too. Okay, so Dolan has Earth Magic Defensive. What does that entail? Um, Rock Guardian, Boulder Smash. Oh, he does have a multi. Okay. I'll stick with it then. Let's go to the castle. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna check something real quick. Dolan, whoa! 340. Okay, Dolan is gonna be trucking people around. Oh. Hey, it's Vugan! What are you doing? Shut up. This does not concern such pests. How dare you! You killed everyone in the city! Captain Perrin, you're a disgrace to this country and to your king! King? What king? Oh! 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 Yikes! <laughs> king... King Zogaran, my lord! What have you done, you heartless monster? He was judged. The impure must be exterminated. Such is the will of my master. Priest is Fugin. Titan. They both follow Dancer. Perrin, you... It can't be! You... You are... Barbata! Oh. That's a... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, yeah. Ignorance. It's taken you so long to understand. But now you've discovered this secret of mine. I cannot let you leave here with such knowledge. Our Munra clan annihilate these humans. By your command, to oh, bearer of the... Let me do that. Let me do that line again, because I remember how I was reading her lines. <clears throat> By your command, O oh bearer of the Legion Sword.
What? What's this? Uh. Uh. I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I, I don't think that's supposed to be in here. Oh, fuck. Rocks. Okay, that was a dummy skill. Oh, we got... Ah, uh, okay, we have shape-shifting people. Right then. Ludox got a dummy skill. <laughs> okay, then. Omen Vugan. Dolan, like, floats in the air when he attacks. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> it's like a slow... He does own, like, slow-mo. That's kind of neat. got to where the song loops. <laughs> I was I just kind of zoned out for a second there. Because this boss kind of won't die. And they're not powerful enough really to kill me either. There we go. Forgive, forgive me, my lords. Forgive me, Papata. Forgive me, Dancer. I am not worthy. Be silent, woman. I have no time for your insolence. Time for discussion is over. We must depart. Earth Titan, how is the Cobalt invasion? The Twin Empires have fallen. Redman is reported missing. Bargon City has been destroyed. No! Kobolds have done well. Order their release. As you wish. Such his dancers will. Ejin, stop this now! You can't control me anymore, Kima. I never controlled you in the first place! Shut up. I don't want to see your face ever again. Ejin! Kima, we had fighting, so we came to help.
Okay, I just needed to help, um, uh, need to help my dad with something real quick. Kima, are, are you alright? Mother, my shin is gone. I see. Kima, I'm sorry to hear that, but we must hurry if we're to take over the castle. Dedelia has been making this flag for us. Lisa, will you hoist it on the battlements? Yes, sir. That was kind of abrupt. Not gonna lie. <laughs> a lot of this uh, plotline is a little abrupt. But, again, this has kind of got a... Seems like he's got a... It's like almost he had to feel like he had to outdo the previous two, which I kind of I get that, but... And so Tudar Castle left ghostly by Balbata and his army of demons became occupied by Kima's ragtag battle force of like 15. Ego had already gathered some worthy soldiers from the twin empires, Kusta and the ruins of Milamo, Kima's home village. Now Tudar Castle stands not as a symbol of unity in Higanasu, but a symbol of unity of humankind across the world of Berylusir. Berylusir. Oh boy. People of Higanasu, you have been equipped with the Peregrine Knight armor for a reason. And that's because I really, really liked it while developing this. Oh wait, no, sorry. <laughs> the Peregrine Knights once stood for truth and justice, but Balbata, taking the form of Perrin, twisted these motives into greed and pa- Let me try that again. But Balbata, taking the form of Perrin, twisted those motives into greed for power and war. This day you witness the rebirth of the true Peregrine Knights. We shall not be destroyed by the hand that created us. This is the Peregrine Army, free, swift, and honest. Kima, since this is a new since this is a new use for this castle, why don't we rename it? It is no longer the Castle of Tudor, it is the Castle of Freedom. I suggest Freedom Castle. <laughs> I prefer Victory Castle. Jesus! I prefer Victory Castle. How about Highland Castle? Well, what's it going to be? I hereby name this. Oh, this has got the name patch in it. Uh, calling a castle on a river Highland is kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. So one thing you have to know about this name patch, and uh, it has. Don't worry about like the way that you, it's a it, that actually does say Tudar, but there's you can't see the R. Don't worry about it. Here. All right. Now I gotta name this thing. Uh, I named the lead, the Castle Cinder in LS2. Uh. Um. Ooh. This music's not bad. I know I've heard it somewhere, but it's not clicking and it's not clicking for some reason. Um I tend to agonize over names and I apologize for that. Yeah, see? It stored the first letter still. Okay. Tudor Castle is fine, so I might. I think I'm just gonna go. I think I'm just gonna go with that and just go with the default. Well, his name is Kima Roshgard, so let's. Uh. Damn it. Yeah, could just name it Roshgard Castle. That'd be pompous as hell. Well, there's a bit of humility to him, so. I'm just gonna go with that. Tudor Castle, okay. Tudor Castle, that sounds cool. Sir Kimo Roshgard, the king is dead. I pledge my loyalty to him. I seek revenge. Now I pledge my loyalty to you, and I am honored to join your army. 
Alright, let's get to work. I want this castle guarded 24-7. Dancer's army could strike at any time. Yeah, so instead of going against a foreign nation, we're now going against God, basically. Who is attacking with demons and shit. Excellent speech, sir. Those soldiers are motivated. Let me give you some tips on running the castle. Just let me do everything for you. You'll have to make sure the soldiers have enough food to survive, otherwise they will die. Oh, there's actually shit to do in this one. The more soldiers we recruit, the more food we will need. Your mother said she would be in charge of the kitchen, so speak to her to find out more. You can buy food and supplies in various places around the world. Make sure you stock up. I understand. Feel free to recruit people you think are worthy that you may happen to bump into. In fact, I'm going to make a suggestion. There's a man who lives just north here, called Majin. He lives in the town of Lashu. He lives in the town of Lashu. Perhaps you should recruit him. Okay, Mojin. Uh, huh. Gee, I, it's not like I know any people that are growing crops at all in this game yet. Meeting room. Alrighty, what else do we got? Oh, they left the sign out where the fucking king's head was. Memory of King Zorgaron. <laughs> Source's name is Nike. Just do it. Just. <laughs> no. Good day to you, sir. Sway to the precinct area. I want to find answers. That is why I will stay with you. If you can win. Thanks. No entry. Oh, this is the shop area? I think. Looks like it. Uh, obviously no entry. Yeah, I think so. There are probably signs up. Oh, hey, kitchen. Hello, Kima. Welcome to my kitchen. What are you looking for? Stock levels. let people in because there's nobody to come in. Hello, Sakima. If there's anything you want, just ask me. Uh... Oh, the maid is where you change party. So, it's a meal. Royal plating. Dolan is. Dolan. I keep. I'm gonna re refer to calling him Dolan. That's like old repressed memory shit. Whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take Ludok out of the party because he's got a glitch skill that he shouldn't have. <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take him out. Party change. Ludok out. Alright. Gonna put... Uh, Tice is pretty damn good. I might put him back in. Because um, I'm not really in need of... I do need ma well, magic seems to matter a bit more, so... I'm gonna put Fanon Ball in, actually. Because I'm noticing... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take that. Uh... Yeah. Whoa. Bedroom, balcony.
the height of this distance, this is like from Suikoden, the, the graphics here. The table is so tall, I'm not sure like where, if that's supposed to be him reading the book right there or there. Because the Suikoden sprites are just, just so much taller than the uh, RPG Maker ones normally. I mean, the backgrounds don't look too out of place for a giant castle like this, but some of the other things, like some of the, not the, not this doorway obviously, but some of the other ones do. One day this room will be full of books. I can see it. Yeah, like even this stool, like this that this lady's sitting on. I can't find the book I'm looking for. And what's oh hey Kazuki. Wonder if they have any books about dancer. No, I mustn't read that anymore. Oh, covering none. Seemingly. I'm gonna get lost in this place a million times over, I can bet on that. Hey! Welcome to the barracks! Just see how... You can see just how good we get so... Welcome to the barracks! You can see just how we get so good here, Lord Kima. War isn't all about swinging swords. Warcraft plays an important role, so I'm learning how to cast a simple water spell. Ah! Take this, you stupid statue! It's a training statue. Ah, I'm full of rage. I just want to destroy that fire titan, the one that killed my mother and father. Okay, so he's from Milamo. It's important that you stay focused on the battlefield. Crossbows. Uh, longbows are gonna be more preferable, y'all. <laughs> just saying. Oh, I can't. Is that like supposed to be just like a? Oh, I think that's supposed to be water, actually. That they're just floating in. Okay. Oh, hey, it's a dragon. Thing. Kabubu. Okay. I know you get him as a playable character, but I don't know if that's a glitch or not. It might be. Yeah, there's something back there, by the way. This game's not very good at hiding that. <laughs> Granted, some RPG Maker games really weren't good at, like, saying, Oh yeah, there's definitely something over here. <laughs> there's Ludok. The white horse there is Nike. She's mine. She's the fastest horse in Ikenasu. I thought this would like be like you walk around the battlements, even though I probably like the last, like the last chapter, or last chapter, last uh, stream I did of this. I probably tried to walk around it. Oh, hey, people are back all of a sudden. So the king is dead, Sir Rashgard. I have faith that you will lead this country to victory. No, this world. Okay then. Greetings, welcome to the Tudar City Hall. Straight ahead is the Garden and Castle. Upstairs is the Meeting Hall. Okay, there's two conference rooms. Seemingly. Oh wait, no, that other one's a banquet hall. Has to be. What the hell am I thinking? Yeah, I gotta agree with you, Cameron. I really like this song. I really like. Out there is Tudar City. I hear people have been sent from all over Higginosa to repopulate the city. Okay, things happen quick. Not even the new inhabitants of Tudar know that the king is dead. It's best kept a secret to avoid panic. Old school conspiracy theories. It's now to control the Paragon Army. Stand for freedom and justice. I like that guy. So that's Tudor Castle now, was it? What was wrong with the old- That was the old name! <laughs> I was furious and they asked me to pack up all my belongings and move to Tudor, but... Uh, my daughter persuaded me to come. So where's that other dude? Oh, he probably died. That dude with the turban. Oh well. 
Innings, and the finest items in Higanashi. I think this was the guy who was here before. Yes, but it's a terrible shame about the people outside. You say they were all killed. The doors were all mysteriously sealed when the fire came from the sky. That's why nobody inside was hurt. Oh! Motherfuckers! <laughs> Goddamn cop out! God damn it! <laughs> that is kind of funny, though. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I was just in here stuffing my face while everyone was being slaughtered outside. I don't know why this is making me laugh. <laughs> I can't talk right now. I'm very busy. I think they're trying. I think they're that's partially to explain why the Cardico guy is still there. And I didn't do any of the Cardico stuff, and I might not in this live stream either. But I, I might eventually. United Alliance wanted to close down the library and build barracks now, but now you are in power. Try that again. The United Alliance wanted to close down the library and build barracks, but now you are in power, it will stay. Now you are in- okay. But now you are in power, it will stay. There should be a comma there. Is that book interesting? Yeah. Lord Kama, I'm glad you have an interest in books, too. That means the library can stay. Right. Right then. <laughs> no, same building. Why would I ex Logic, it actually applied for once. I wasn't really expecting that. Wait, where's the north gate? You know what? I'm gonna go exploring south a bit. I'm gonna see it go back and get our recruits of people. South. Wait a minute. So, like in the first part, there was um, there was the uh, fuck you, tree mammoth. There was the. There was the Blue Knights, which were... I don't remember what the hell they were. I think those were just like the Castle Guards. The old Tudar Guards. Those were Dolan's uh, unit. There was the Religious Sect. The Beast Faction. It was led by that woman who just didn't give a fuck and hated everybody. And she was awesome. Why is that door locked? That's weird. Um, and then there was the red, the, the unit in red that was led by Sid Regul, who was the, he was in the, he was from the first one, he's from the first game, and he was like one of the villains. What the fuck happened to him? Like, he attacked the religious faction, then he disappeared, so, like, did they kill him? Oh, shit, Phantom Ball's still on the horse. Hell yeah. Cavalry. Yeah, so Regul is... That's implied that the... The red, uh... The faction of Red Knights got wiped out, or... Or, um... Uh... Or something like that. And we all know... And the old Peregrine Knights ended up becoming absorbed by... Is this trying to lead me into, like, Sid Regul being, like, going, like, full anti-hero or something? But he's, like, he's basically dead, though. Wouldn't he have... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 
son of a bitch. I think I see what this guy's trying to pull on me. Oh, uh, Sid Regul is... Was that attack, like, staged or something? The attack on the religious faction? <laughs> Hang on a minute. If Perrin's Barbata, and he knew that he was sending the Blood Moon, he's trying to- okay, he's trying to kill off the Foreigner. Who is pretty much an undead, who therefore would have been... in league with their guy. That's either a plot hole or, or not really, I don't know if that's really necessarily a hole. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But I think he's leading me into some plot hole, a uh, plot element involving that guy. Don't forget to wipe your feet before you go into Miss Harmony's school. Kid, go inside. <laughs> hey, it's you. Hey, thanks for saving me on Mount Quare. Maybe I'll come and join your army when I get a bit stronger. Hello, Kima. Sorry I could not assist you, but I must stay here at the music school. Hey, Cam, I'll send you the, uh, poem castle theme. Uh, later. If you want. Oh yeah, the one in the in Harmony's music school. Yeah, that one's from the RTP as well. Oh, you're the leader of the Alliance Army, aren't you? The Alliance now, aren't you? If I work for you, I'll need some better tools. These old ones won't do. Find some new tools, and I'll help you out. See you later. This one's from Suikoden. You know, sometimes things really are easy. My name is Ataru. I came from the Kingdom of the Dragon Knights. You heard of a weapon called the Mirasame? I only ever set my eyes on it once. I would love to see such a sword again. Okay, Phantom Ball is okay. That costs a lot to sharpen that. Dolan. Uh, blacksmith's not really that helpful in this. I'm gonna point. I just like mention. And of course, it kind of comes off the back of the last one being where it was absolutely broken to hell, <laughs> and you could have basically whoever you want just start uh, throwing the most powerful hits around and make orb crap basically useless. And this kind of went the opposite, whereas now the blacksmith is basically doesn't do a damn thing, which I kind of see what he was trying to do. And it, 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 the line of the the line of thought is consistent. Wait, is there still? Wait, huh? This is a bug. That's not only a little bug, that's a big one. Holy shit. Although I will admit, I may have an older version of this game. And it may have been patched in a later version. I don't think it was, though. <laughs> Could be... Maybe it was, and... Alright. That was nothing. Okay, 
And maybe that was like patched out or something like that. Um, I'm not sure it was, though. Yikes. The demons destroyed the village, but people still need to rest. Yikes. My father was killed during the attack. Guess it's my turn to try to bring back the family business. Please buy something. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, because I'm gonna need more of these. Wait, where was that house before? Or is that like a roof piece from like over here that just got blown over there? Because honestly, I would believe it. Uh... When the village went on fire, I can only say this. You you can have it if you want. Y'all, if you just want to, like, go to the big-ass castle up north, that'd be great. You know what? I think I just caught on to, like, there was the end of the Barbata dialogue. Here's a lightning wit me at it again. But something just clicked with me when uh, Barbata, like, said, um, you know, release the kobolds. Was that literally... Was that literally a release the hounds joke? I hope it was! I don't think I've been here yet. Oh, it's Meridian Child. People have been getting quite angry because people have been getting quite angry because they can't go to Crisdea. One guy even threatened to kill us. Lord Orson has closed this road due to uncontrollable. <laughs> Whoa, Lord Orson has closed this road due to uncontrollable immigration. Guess you Highlanders are fleeing because you're afraid of war, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Holy fucking irony there. Given how Legion Saga 2 starts. Yikes! Let's go check the Almond Ra camp. I just had a thought. Let's go check that out. That might be fun. Rimeru Forest. I already knew about that one. I already knew about that one. But I saw there was a tile missing, and I went for, and I was like, "Is something over here?" Yeah, there was. Stop. Okay, you're dead, both of you. Yeah, I thought so. Myriad blessings upon thee, my humongous human friend. Uh, I think I actually already heard that. Jesus Christ, the encounter rate. Chill out. <laughs> Let's save just in case I break something. Because I'm now a little worried I might. Or... Okay, here's some Charles Roaches, as Siege like to call them. Okay, I'm not going to... I don't think that's a good idea right now. Okay, so they actually did successfully wall that off. Okay, I'm going to cheat just a little bit just to get out. Now that I've checked that out, let's go back north. We've got this position secured. Cry 
Rocko Gators and Swamp Jellies. Oh wait, no, I know it's down that way. That's nothing. Jesus, stop fucking with these... Encounter rate is ridiculous. Absolutely bad shit. Okay, so Sid Regul is MIA. Uh, I don't know where the Tudar North Gate is. I gotta find that. What's back here? Is this where the North Gate is? <laughs> Answers that question. Last you. Oh, that's... Lashu, a small town which remains independent and is not part of any particular faction, despite the fact that the United Alliance capital is, like, a mile away. In other words, these guys are kind of... Oh, hey. We had about two in our city. Everyone there was killed. My son and his family were sent to live there to repopulate it. This music's weird. I got this, but I don't know how to play. Here, you can have it. Random ca uh, Cardico. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna be okay. Five grand deities might last me a lot longer than I think it will. That's Lily. Kima, you're safe. Oh, I'm so glad. I went south to Crisdia for a couple of days, and when I got back, Milamo had been burned to the ground. I'm sorry, I, I, I couldn't save the village. Don't be silly, it's not your fault, Kima. So tell me, what exactly happened there? I see. So you're fighting against these titans. Lily, will, uh, will you join us? I really can't. I've got to wait here for my friend, Cutie. Your friend, Cutie? Cootie, I'll just say it like that. Alright, if you ever find her, we're based in Tudor City, in Tudor Castle. I've got to wait here for my friend Cutie. Sorry. Who's this guy? Ajin, yes, he lives in the big house at the back of town. Oh, hey, it's the, the overworld sprite from Crown of the Bride where the, uh, uh, the Black Knight's enemy graphic in LS2 is based off of. I just sent my son to the music school. Wonder if he'll be any good. Yeah, this guy. Right here. You may not enter. What? Why not? I have received, I have received strict orders from his lordship not to let anyone into the house. Why not? Look, I'm just a god for hire. After the Midland Wars, I was out of a job. I didn't know what's in there, so Mojin just told me to guard it and took off. So he is not inside. Listen, I don't know where he went. He never tells me anything about the job. I clear off. I'm trying to do my job here. Yeah, I feel for you, man. <laughs> what's going on? Some of these. Oh, we got books everywhere. My daddy likes to read lots of books, so we have lots of books. Do you like to read lots of books? That does kind of read awkwardly. This town was founded by Mojin's father. He was going to be mayor, but he moved south to some village. Uh, huh. Yeah. Well, I just robbed a guy. This 
excuse me, do you know where I can find Mojin? Yes, he went into the woods to get some drake weed. What's drake weed? It's a rare plant that grows in the nest of a dragon. But why would he need it? Mojin's daughter became very sick yesterday. Drake weed's the only thing that can cure her illness. If you want to find him, you might be too late. A dragon is extremely dangerous. Then we must hurry. Woods are at the back of the town. Good luck. Dick. <laughs> if that portrait didn't clue you off that he's a kind of a VIP. What the hell? I thought there was something back there. And it's just like, it's like, nope, there's nothing here. Okay. Wood Roach. Oh, one of them ran away, and the other one's gonna get fucking. The other's gonna get squished by fucking rocks! This music is a little, un, little unfitting, but. There's worse. Turtle Mage! Okay, he's in Final Fantasy VI, at least the enemy graphic is. Just. Y'all heard that too, right? The fucking horse sound. Yeah, there it goes again. That's not my imagination, right? starting to wonder if there's something that is like not a hundred percent like programmed in or something or if there's something that is and it's just wonder what happens if I have something for yeah I got that treasure box for some reason I was like wait did I not get that loudspeaker silence. Uh, I don't have anyone with, um, uh, giving Dolan that, and I'm also going to give Dolan the loudspeaker as a result. I figured something wasn't right. There it is again. Must be only against this encounter or something. Ow. Eighteen plus, okay. 
Uh, in level 18 to me is when I get the level 3 skills, I see. I wonder if that's something that there's... Horse winning. Has to be for Phantom Ball. Someone involving Phantom Ball, maybe. Okay, now the enemies actually are starting to actually hurt. Has to be someone involving fan and ball. There's a bug that only involves the t single turtle mage encounter or something like that. That's weird. I may have to check that out in the game files, see what that's all about. Because it was only against a single turtle mage where that showed up. Pace, I think, to have the end of this game be. Yeah, let's try it now. There it is. Single turtle mage. Maybe I have to test it without him in the party. Without either, without Phantom Ball in the party. That's weird. Why would it be doing that? I mean, is there something about the particular enemy that's supposed to do something? Is there, like, some status effect? Oh, here we go. Here's our Drake weed. This must be the Drake weed. Where's Mojin? What's going on? The music changed. Have we been tricked? Dragon's Nest. Yeah! Yeah, that's what happens when you go looking at her dragon's nest, you stupid jackass. You have a fucking dragon show up and say, "Rar, get the fuck out now." I probably am gonna wish I had more uh, fire attack, uh, less fire equipped. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the case. This is gonna get ugly. Uh huh. Single. Yeah, that dragon's not even taking damage from that. Well, this is gonna be fun! Let's try that again. Not like I... Yeah, he doesn't take damage from that. Oh boy. <laughs> I probably should have thought through. Oh yeah, dragons probably got fire. Should maybe not have fire equipped.
Level 19, yay! Rojin's not here, and we were almost killed. What a waste of time. Let's go back to the village. Wait, was that dragon not supposed to appear in the castle? And that's... Son of a bitch. I have a feeling that was actually the case. Speed orb on Lisa. Because I forgot to equip that. <laughs> Can't have to use the bathroom, so I might do that in just a minute. That's probably just decoration. Yep, that guy was probably Mojin. Hey, what are you doing back here? What happened to the man who was standing over there? You mean Mojin? Th that was Mojin! Called it. So he was tricking us. Where did he go? He's inside. He's become very ill all of a sudden. He needs Drakeweed, but no one in this village is brave enough to face the dragon. Wait a moment. Let's go and get that now. Kima, you stupid jackass. Oh, wait. Oh, well. Wait, what? Oh. This is the Dragoid. Let's take some back. Right, now let's go and give this to... Right, now let's go and give this to Mojin. Maybe he will help us then. Those are seal sounds from Warcraft. It's a cute baby dragon. We can't just leave it here without a mother. We'll have to take it back to Tudor Castle. What are you going to call him, Kima? Um. Buku. <coughs> that happened. See so yeah, ya, Buku's an auto recruit. And I don't know why that was not taken care of. Okay. Uh, awkward. Awkward. <laughs> what? You actually got some drake weed, but why? Why are you helping Mojin? Because we felt like it. You felt like it? Well, that, that's an odd reason. Alright, I'll give Mojin the drake weed and see what I can do. Wait here. What do you want from me? Money? Is your daughter alright? Yes. The drink we made her recover. Thank you. Now tell me why you are here or get off my property. Eesh, lighten up a bit. Need to learn some manners. Be a real gentleman like me. <laughs> like the guy who kidnaps children. Jesus Christ, fan and ball. <laughs> we came here to ask for your help. I'm Kima Roshgott of the Alliance. We're fighting against Dansa. Dancer. <laughs> You're building an army to fight against a god. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> no, I won't help you. We need all the help we can get. We can defeat Dancer if we all unite. 
I agree. You need all the help you can get. You're not getting mine to get lost before Greg Mahir gets angry. Uh, fine. We'll have to go back and tell Ego you won't you wouldn't help us. Wait a minute. Did you just say Ego? Do you know him? He Ego's my father. He has finally decided to put his powers to some sort of use. I always told him he was wasting his time. <laughs> guess he still is trying... Well, guess he still is wasting his time trying to kill a god. Lujin, please help us. We need as many people to help us as possible. It's the only way we can save the human race. Alright. Father's doing it, and I'll help him too. But... Sir, Gragma, I want you to stay here and guard the residence while I'm gone. No, sir. I want to fight, too. What do you think, Kima? Can Kragma fight, too? I mean, he's only got a giant suit of armor. Like I said, we'll need all the help we can get. Okay, let's go exploring a bit. Ah, going across the overworld at a reasonable speed. Yo, Mount Hanasta. Oh, the Beast Faction is further up here. Hey, I know this song. I'm supposed to be taking these rations to Magosta, but I can't get through. Guess they'll go to waste. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do that. Yeah, I'm very sorry, but we cannot let you through unless you are accompanied by a beast. Well. Fucking off from there. Lumian border. Trade faction. Okay then. This is the province of Lumia. This area is out of bounds. All trade routes have been cut off. Alright, okay, so this guy. Okay, that happened. <coughs> Die, fucking roaches. Alright, so I got some new characters I'm gonna have to play around with later. One of them being fa one of them being fan and ball being absent from the party, I think. Um, I am going to. I'm gonna. I think I will continue uh, in just a minute, but I'm going to head uh, to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. Enjoy the music in the meantime.
Yeah, you're probably quite sick of hearing that song by now, I apologize for that. Let's do some science. So, it's my sworn duty to protect this castle with all of my might. I'm pretty sure Gragma is a giant attack damage tank. Therefore, we are going to put him in the party with... Uh, under that assumption, and that is kind of throwing me off that that's not like a door. Ah, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna advance the plot right this second. I'm gonna. Uh, nothing. Okay, take all of this off for now. Uh, take the loudspeaker off Dolan. 
and I'm gonna take that off Lisa, too. Because we're gonna experiment. We're gonna... B-team time! God damn it. Fuckers are making me actually have to go through. Now what's this? Oh. Why does a save point look different for... Uh, Mojin, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Yes, Father, it certainly has. Please tell me why you need my assistance. As much as I hate to admit it, you're a far better tactician than I am. I want you to be the head strategist for the Alliance. I... I'm shocked. But I'll do it, Father. For you. Kima, here's a gift I prepared as a sign of my loyalty now. Oh! Kima, why don't you go and take a rest in your room upstairs? Mojin and I will discuss our plans for tomorrow. Okay then. Hi. Kima, how's your day been? Ah. Uh, exhausting. Oh, poor Kima. Hey, don't worry. I'll get used to it. You're right. Say, uh, Lisa. Yes, what is it? Do you think Aijin might come back? I don't know. Fifteen years ago, Higinasu was torn apart by a brutal and merciless civil war. The various factions battled for land and power without a care for their country's unity. Okay. Don't know why this is here. It was during this era of strife that our loyal father, Edo Roshka, departed under the king's orders to put a stop to the fighting. Oh, this is... Should have been read in Kima's voice, I think. Uh, yeah, that should have been read in Kima's voice. Do like the faux sepia tone here. Egal and Mojin. In the top left corner there. There's the king. Weeks passed, and there was still no news from the front line. Our mother was very worried and feared that our father was dead. We comforted her. We comforted her and told, comforted her and told her that he was safe. Jesus Christ! Why did I fuck that up? As more and more men were sent to war, the number of adults decreased, and I soon met a girl about my age named Lisa. A literal orphan off the sh Oh. Lisa had been orphaned because of the war, so my brother and I took her home. Much to his regret, and our mother looked after her as if she was her own daughter. That explains a lot. Eventually a royal Sarah Unite came to our house. Eventually, a royal Syrian knight came to our house with a letter. It said that our father had died fighting bravely in the war. <laughs> that very day, I saw. I sw On that very day, I swore that I would live to up to my father's standard. I'd become an honorable peregrine knight. Even though, well, hmm. Good morning, Kima. Did you sleep well? Yes. Good. You've probably got another long day ahead of you today. 
Emma, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Good, because there's something I wanted to ask you, Kima. Do you... Do you think maybe... We could get married one day? Married? Yeah, husband and wife, so that we can live together for the rest of our lives. Think for a minute. It's a big decision to make. Of course. Oh! Oh, hoo -hoo. So glad you said yes. Thanks, Kim. I love you so much. I have to go, Lisa. I, I need to talk to Ego. I'm going to be very busy from now on. We'll talk later, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, even though I'm gonna... She's gonna be one of my, like, my main party members. Uh, yeah. Re-equip everyone. Just so I don't do anything really stupid here. Dolan's defense is actually really bad. That's... yeah. I can see why uh, he would have all that. Fannonball... Ooh, reduces fire damage. I could've used that a little while ago. I'll give you the lightning orb for now. Good morning, Kima. Did you sleep well? Yes, thanks. Good, because we've got an important mission lined up for you. Lord Kima, allow me to explain the situation. Very early this morning, we received a note of attention from the river crossing. As you may know, this bridge crossed the Tigerfoot River just... The... As you may know, this bridge crossed the Tigerfoot River just south of the Nina Swamps. Something is going on there, but we don't know what. Is it serious? Judging from the urgency of the note, I'd say that it is quite serious. Lord Kima, I feel that you should personally see to this. Alright, I'll go have a look. Alright, now we've got, got to go set the party, you know. Am I going to be setting the party with these fucks? Yep. Alright. Not so. Exit menu. First thing I'm gonna do is actually just take all this equipment off that I just put on. We have been at this for two hours. Wow. Huh. Alright, so we're gonna have some science before we um, investigate this mysterious thing. Alright, we're gonna put the dragon in the party. Because I like dragons. We're gonna put the dragon in. We're putting you in. And, uh... I really don't know who else. Taisu? I don't really care. Last one doesn't really matter. I thought I had one extra person I could, like, look at, but... I guess not, so... Yeah, you're back in. You're gonna be my- Lisa's gonna be my number two in my party. Why is he only level three, though? And Gragma's level 21. He's gonna be fucking hit- He's gonna be really, really nasty. Hard shell goggles. Yo! 483! I like that! He's gonna be bowling people over, though. I like the sound of that. That that is a that does have a nice uh, sound to it. Hey Lisa, you're getting the lightning orb. Godspeed orb. Um. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Kima, you're fine. Except I'm gonna move you to the ice orb because I have a feeling that's a that dragon's got some fire to him. And he does. That was a good call. And I cannot equip a damn thing to the dragon. Um. I you, I guess. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, 
I got this feeling that Gragmo is in one of the other games. He might have been in the first one, and I'm just like blanking for and I'm blanking on him being there. Oh, they're not in their party, they're you just got they're just hanging around the castle. King Zogaran. Sorry I couldn't protect you. You know, find a romantic partner that loves you as much as Dolan loves um, King Zorgron, all right? That's that's my advice for everyone listening, all right? All right, so now, first for science, but also partially for, I'm gonna go find the single turtle mage. Nope, not you. Oh, cool, I can control a dragon. Okay. Bye! Let's see if those horse sounds come back. Stop fucking running. Those are the seal sounds from Warcraft 2. <laughs> actually kind of nice to have. He's got a fixed set of skills, it seems like, but overall, worth having around, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Uh... Now, what that even is, is... Huh. Okay. Fucking cheating ass turtle mage having more than one orb at a time. Oh. Guess you didn't like me saying that. That's weird. That's fucking weird. Turtle is horse whinnying at me. Oh, damn it. Dragon. Don't do that. Don't don't hurt my boy. Leave my boy alone. Why is that still in my inventory? Uh you're the tank, so I'm giving you that. still kind of looks weird. It's 
What's in that hole? It's like more water, but this water is a funny color. What? Okay, I can't really read the sign, so... Oh, King Zogaron is dead. You know, I witnessed his birth all those years ago, and I never expected to see him die at such a young age. I guess, uh, yeah, keeping the king's death a secret didn't really work out, and I did it. I started to get word in the kobold that was inside her suddenly rushed outside and ran away from Tudar. Yeah. Yeah! Don't Okay. Uh. Ah. Uh. Let's get another one just in case. I have a feeling this boosts something else. Like, for example. No, it, it doesn't. You know, the fact that this does it as a restore makes the inn completely pointless. Dragon stats are not very good, but at the same time, he is only level 4. And, he is mag and his magic is better than Gragma's. Okay, granted, that's not hard, but... It's very good stats for being at that low level, so... Well, let's go ahead and advance the plot a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. But am I really feeling it? Actually... I... Yeah, let's go and let's do this part. Don't quite know what we're gonna see. We're gonna find out together, though. <laughs> go, go, dragon! <laughs> Level 19 for Lisa. Yay. Oh. Here he comes. C Kobolds! What's going on here? Lord Kima, please forgive us. We meant not to harm you or the people of the Twin Empires. Please listen to our story. Surf, also. Just the other day, we... We... Well, it can only be described as being born. We knew not where we were or where we had been, only what we saw. Kima, we don't remember what we did, but we know it was terrible. The last thing we remember is a man with silver hair coming to our town and offering us much power in the human community. Then we woke up on the plains just south of here. Tell us, what happened? You wiped out Bargon City and Tudor City too. You killed countless soldiers and civilians. Now you say you don't remember it? You must believe us. Barbada has inherited powers of the Oragai. The Oragai were a superior race who existed on this planet many years ago, but were gradually wiped out by the humans. By gaining some of the powers, Barbata is able to control people's minds. This is how he controlled us and made us the enemy of this country and Melivet. I'm sorry, I, I can't trust you. 
Not after you killed my friends and companions. Ruko! Why won't you believe our story? It's the truth. Stop, Seth. Kima, your anger is understandable. But you must understand that we were but a tool with which Barbata has tried to accomplish his goals for Dancer, his master. However, we cannot make you trust us. If you should change your mind, we will be waiting at the Krizdan border. You there. I'm going back to the castle. Don't let those kobolds pass this point. Yes, sir. I'm actually going to go to the border. First, I'm going to save. I... I can't believe I've committed such horrific crimes against the humans. Lord Kima, if you change your mind, we would like Bart, uh, yeah, Lord Kima, if you change your mind, we would like to help you fight Barbata. These weapons are good. Not as good as my blue swords say. I wish you would believe us. Kobolds would never attack like that unless we were provoked. You humans are all the same. You don't believe a word we say. Where are the border guards? Go, dragon, go! Yay! <laughs> dragon scared him off! Alright. Whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Fucking rocket boosters engaged, Jesus. Now we got more bugs than this, I see. Which I have a feeling is a case of no common event usage. And a case of having the same... Fucking encounter rate. And it kind of screams of no, um... Not using a common event and just having the same code, line of code exist everywhere. And watch, it's gonna be double speed here too. Now it's gonna go in again and it won't change it back. Or it'll increase it. Yep. And again. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a bug with that particular area. this. Okay. Now take it off. Now put it back on. That is actually a bit slower than usual. Out. Off, go in the 
overworld. This, that's that's a little messed up. Gotta love finding bugs in a 16 year old game or something. But I, I, as I've said a, probably a bunch of times already, it's. Um, I could swear I was moving faster here, so I'm gonna hit the F12 key. Just, uh, back in the over... See. Leave. How fast are we moving? Take this off. See if we get nitrous, yeah. Okay, now we are going to put that there and then never touch that orb again. Okay, so we found some bugs. <laughs> And, uh, including one with the, that I guarantee was caused by a lack of using comp, by a, by the guy who made this, not using a common event for the Godspeed orb on the overworld. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what caused that. And, um, having just the same code be just copy-pasting instead of, like, the same exact lines of code instead of just copy-pasting a reference to check the, to run a common event instead. Because then you could have the same thing in one place. It's a really basic uh, It's something that I think had he known like why those are such a good idea, he would have used them a lot more. Which he clearly did for the orb craft and all these, but like just even offloading basic functions to common events is Granted, I am trying to like help a guy who has been not will touch this game in 15 years, which makes me the asshole here, but, like, this is kind of a, like, just good general thing, like, always offload common functions, so you're not copy-pasting code, just have, like, a reference to, like, a common methods or whatever, you know, common whatever, it's a common class or common in RPG Maker 2000 terms. Common event. Yeah, I wasn't sure what the old uh, walk speed was. Alright, so I'm gonna park it right here. Actually, I'm gonna face up so that I remember. Otherwise, I will not, and I'll wander around like an idiot. Alright, so we've been at this for a while. I'm gonna call it for today, at least for now. Maybe I'll be back. I'm probably not. Uh, so, that being said, peace.